Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to learn at your feet once again. We say accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we want to thank you for what you've been doing for us. Please let your name be glorified. Please help us to keep on growing in your words. And at the end of our race, please help us to reign with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want to greet each and every one of you listening to me. And I want to say happy convention to all the redeemed members all over the world. Happy 69th convention with the theme, A New Wave of Glory. It's a season of a new wave of glory. And we will all experience new wave of glory for good in the name of Jesus. You will not be lost in the wave. You will not be a victim of the wave. You will enjoy the good part of the wave. And the wave will also have you into a new dimension of exploit, of anointing, of wealth, of health in the name of Jesus. I want to congratulate all the members of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And I want to advise you, if you have not listened to our daddy's messages, the messages preached by Daddy Jew, especially the one of um, the one of Thursday, please do listen to Daddy's messages. And the Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless you. Yeah, just to greet you and um, also to introduce the new phase of our Bible lessons. We've been looking at the book of First Timothy 4.16. And I told you there are a lot of lessons to learn from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16. How um, maybe as you just um, introduce the second phase of that teaching, we'll be looking at take heed unto yourselves. There are a lot we'll discuss. Please, if you have missed any of our episode, please just log into our YouTube channel and listen to them. Subscribe so that you can get notification whenever we release a new video. And the Lord will help us as we learn together and grow together in Jesus' name. Okay. I said I just want to introduce the second part. And by God's grace, next week we'll be digging deep into that part. So let's read 1 Timothy 4, 16. Take it unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. If look at take it unto thyself, then let's look at the second part. Take it unto the doctrine. The doctrine. Yourself, then the doctrine. Another version says the teachings. The teachings. So when we talk about doctrine, it means teachings. Yes, it's, it's a lay down principle. Lay down principles. It has to do with um, taught principles. It's a body of teachings, body of instructions. Um, we are not going to that detailed definition today. You can read up those ones, but let's pick some of the key points that God wants us to learn even from this verse. Take it onto the teachings, the doctrine. Now, let's pick one or two things. Number one, there is no minister or there is no believer without a doctrine. There is no believer without a doctrine. There are doctrine committed into your hands if you are a Christian. So as you take it to yourself, you take it onto the doctrine that was committed into your hands. Then every doctrine has a source. Every doctrine has a source. The source of our own doctrine is Jesus Christ. So if you stay connected with your source, which is Jesus, you will abound in your doctrine, in the teachings. But if you are disconnected from the source, oh, you might take up another doctrine. So there are people that started well with a sound doctrine. But along the way, they were disconnected 
either knowingly or unknowingly, and they lost the doctrine. So you need to take it unto yourself and take it unto your doctrine. In this teaching, we will let you know that even as parents, you have your doctrine. The Bible says, teach your child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. So, if you are teaching, then you have a doctrine. God will help us. Please don't miss any episode. Another thing you should note about doctrine is that every new wave of glory comes with a new doctrine. Every new wave of glory comes with a new doctrine. Of course, we're in the season of new wave of glory. So, uh, it's very good we link everything together. Mark chapter 1 verse 27. Mark chapter 1 verse 27 says, And they were all amazed, in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanded he even the unclean spirit, and they do obey him. Jesus started his ministry. That was the beginning of a new wave of glory. And he came with a doctrine. He was not preaching and said, this is my doctrine. He was just doing what he was doing. When you are connected with Jesus, you may not be the one saying, this is my doctrine, this is my teaching. People will say, this is your teaching. When they heard Jesus, they said, he came with, they said, what new doctrine is this? So every new wave of glory comes with a new doctrine. Please take note. And to sustain your new wave of glory, you must guide jealously the doctrine that comes with the new wave of glory. We've had a lot of things in this conversation. We've had words. They ought to be perfect. Or well, things you need to conquer, conquer your hunger, conquer lust, conquer um, some other things, appetite, you know, food. These are doctrines, these are teachings that the new wave of glory has brought to us. So you need to pay attention to those doctrines so that you can sustain the new wave of glory that is already released upon you. So, by God's grace, we will start digging deep into this second part of First Timothy chapter 4, verse 16, that has to do with doctrine, your teachings, okay? Um, we may not, we, we shouldn't be able to separate you from your doctrine if you are really taking it onto it. And there are lots to learn. Please stay connected, watch out for episode every week. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. What are your teachings? What are you holding on to? You might not be teaching, but there are things that makes you to be a Christian. These are your doctrines. There are things that makes you to, to be pleased, I mean, to be pleasant unto God, to give pleasant smell, pleasant worship. Pleasant prayers unto God. These are the doctrines that we'll be talking about. And the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for this opportunity. Please open our understanding. Lord, to take it unto our doctrines, the teachings that we have received from you, so that we will be able to uh, last even in this new wave of glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you. See you next week by God's grace. God bless you.